It's been December of 2020. Many of us have already been working from home in the past few months. Working from home most of the time, you need to have a good workspace where you can get things done. Not only that, by having a good workspace will increase your productivity and also keep you inspired. Hi, I'm Farik Tantomi. In this video, I will take you through my workspace which I use it for designing, editing, and writing. Also, I will share a couple of products that I use to boost my productivity. So hopefully this video can inspire you to start making your own workspace. In the past couple of few months, I spent most of my time in this workspace. To begin with, I don't have any large room, so I need to use the space more effectively. Most of the furniture that I use is from IKEA. Starting from the desk, I use the combination of IKEA Lindman and Alex Rower. The combination looks very minimal and I think it is quite affordable. The tabletop that I use is about 59 and 29 inch. It is not too long and it is quite deep enough. To add some height, I bought another small leg in the top of Alex drawer which I got it from local store. In the drawer, I store a lot of things like desktop peripheral, unused product packaging, and many other stuff. I also add a desk shelf from IKEA to add storage and use the vertical space. So I can use the space to put my keyboard and mouse hidden. For my chair, I use ergonomic chair from IKEA which is called IKEA Jar Valley. It has mesh material on the backrest, so it is actually very comfy to sit on this chair. It has adjustable tail function, so I can sit comfortably with multiple sitting position. Also, you can adjust the seat depth, and not only that, it has built-in adjustable headrest and also lumbar support. Powering the workspace, I still use the same MacBook Pro 2018, which I use it from my office that I've been working for. I'm planning to upgrade to Mac Mini M1 to replace the MacBook Pro very soon. So this one is packed with 6 core processor and 16GB of RAM. It can handle most of my heavy tasks such as like Sketch, Photoshop, and also Premiere Pro. I also use 12.9 inch iPad Pro with Magic Keyboard. I use iPad Pro mostly for writing and also browsing. And sometimes I use it to watch some tutorial and also YouTube video. I love the Magic Keyboard because not only it protects my iPad Pro and the typing experience was very pleasant. I can carry it anywhere and the transition was very seamless. So I did notice it actually boosts my mood on riding and definitely I think it is worth to buy despite of heavy price. So for me, a monitor is a center of attention from a workspace. I love to use ultrawide monitor since it is perfect for multitasking and also productivity. The monitor that I use is Samsung 43 CJ890, which is actually a super ultrawide monitor. It is actually a bit wider than 34 inch ultrawide monitor. I have used this monitor for more than one year, and so far I don't find any major issue. It is actually a view panel with resolution up to 3840 x 1200. It is not sharp as 4K, but it has slightly more vintage for horizontal resolution. This monitor also supports USB-C, but it is only 60 watt charging. For productivity, I can use the horizontal resolution to open 2 until 3 tabs on the same time, which is perfect for multitasking, design, and also editing. To support my monitor, I use monitor arm from NordBayou. I think it is quite affordable and it can handle the weight of the monitor. So, so far, I was really impressed how the monitor arm can support this heavy monitor. So above the monitor, I add a screen bar from Basius. It is actually a cheaper version of BenQ screen bar. It has built-in dimmer so you can adjust the amount of brightness. Also, there are three light modes from cool to warm light. The light was very soft and it doesn't reflect on my monitor. And it is actually bright enough to light the whole workspace. So I can use it for writing and also reduce my eye strain. So because of work from home, sometimes I had to use the video call on the meeting. For webcam, I use Logitech C920. It has a built-in mic and support full HD resolution. Also, it has adjustable stand so I can attach it above the screen bar. For my audio, I use Edifier Luna SD. It supports Bluetooth audio and also 3.5mm jack. I love the aesthetic of the speaker. It does look very futuristic and also minimal. And certainly it doesn't look alike with any other speaker. 
for listening some music or movie i think this is really amazing speaker for the price it has a bit low bass and it has good detail and i found it the sounds was very punchy sometimes i also use airpods pro for listening some music or video call for me it's been the best wireless earbuds in my opinion the noise cancelling was amazing although i think the sony xm3 or the newer xm4 has far more better noise cancelling but the best thing about the airpods pro is the small size and it is really easy to bring wherever you go for my keyboard i still use the keychron k8 i've been already reviewed before so if you have time definitely check out my review so the Keychron K8 is wireless mechanical keyboard which has stay layout. Certainly, I think this was the best wireless mechanical keyboard for Mac. It can be used with USB-C cable included or it can be used wirelessly via Bluetooth. I love to use the keyboard wirelessly so I can minimize the cable in the workspace. It has RGB backlight so you can change color and also change the light mode. In terms of design, I think it does look very slick and also minimal. For my mouse, I still use the Logitech MS Master 2S, which I have used it for 2 years. Even though it still uses micro USB-C to charge, I don't have any issue because actually it has a very long battery life. So there will be a couple of times that I need to charge my mouse. It supports up to 3 devices, so I can switch quickly to other device. It has thumb wheel to scroll horizontally, which I found it useful for scrolling the timeline in the Premiere Pro. Also, it has two buttons on the side of the mouse, which I can use it to back and forward on the browser. And the last one, it has gesture button to quickly switch between desktop on the Mac. So I love ergonomic product. So I add ergonomic wrist rest from Delta Hub. It is used to improve my arm position and prevent any pain issue for my wrist. Underneath my keyboard and mouse, I add a desk pad from OA Keywood. It has some felt texture and it serves to hold my keyboard and also mouse. For charging my device, I use wireless charging pad from Satechi. It can be used to charge all Apple devices on the same time. In terms of design, it does look very slick and solid. Also, it has night stain mode for Apple Watch, which is very convenient, so I can see the charging indicator when I was working on the desk. To hide all my cables, I use cable sleeve and route the cable behind the drawer. Also, I installed the power strip below the desk to add some extension for my peripheral. To add some ambient light, I use RGB lamp from Xiaomi. The RGB can be adjusted via app or use touch function. You can increase the amount of brightness and also change the RGB color. The light was very bright and it is perfect for ambient light in my workspace. So I have another light from IKEA, it is called IKEA Svalade. It is actually a affordable desk lamp and, and it looks minimal. Also there is a space on the below so I can put my Google Nest Mini. To add aesthetic, I add a couple of plants from IKEA in my workspace. Then I got a bookshelf which I bought it from local store. On the bookshelf, I can put some books, like, and also plan. I also put some action figure to add personality to my workspace. Above the action figure, I attach RGB LED from Aputure to add some spice. I can change the RGB using Siders Link app to control the light. I also put Google Nest Hub to control my smart home products. I use it to put some reminder and it can be used as a clock this way. So that's it about my workspace. So hopefully it can be your inspiration to make your own workspace. So if you have any question, please let me know in the comment down below. That's it about the video. If you are interested with all product in this video, I will put links in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video, thank you so much for watching, subscribe more.